we're joined now by an in-studio guest, Mike McElright. Mike McElright is a longtime contributor of Quality Digest Daily, um, and, and Mike and, and Quality Digest have worked together for, uh, for a long time on a lot of things. And lately what we've been working on, Mike, as you well know, is our, our latest series, uh, our latest video training series on, on what's known as BMS, yes. Business Management System. So you're down here this week, coming up this week, to, to do some more taping on the series. Why don't you tell all of us out here, all of our audience, um, what's BMS? What is BMS all about and, and how does it connect in and integrate with like Lean, for instance? Okay, good. Yeah, um, in fact, uh, I'm thinking about taking up residency in California. You are. Every so often. So, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, a, a BMS is a business management system and, and of course we're all familiar with a quality management system. And, um, uh, but this has to go beyond because Lean needs a management system too as well. It does need a management system to bring it all together, tie it all together. Uh, but then if you're into Six Sigma, Six, Six Sigma needs a management system. Environmental, you need an environmental management system. You know, what you really need is something to group it all together, to integrate it all together. Otherwise, there's just a lot of waste otherwise. So, you know, it's ironic because you think about it, all these systems, everything really, the heart of it is about driving out waste, increasing efficiency a, and quality for the organization. Yet the proliferation of all these systems and that, that aren't under one roof creates what? A lot more waste, right? It, especially when you talk about lean and quality. Yeah. There's so much overlapping there. They have the same intent. Yeah. I mean, it's to improve, improve processes, improve our products. Um, but you have the lean group, and you have the quality group, and they're going at it in different directions and different ways, and they're, sometimes they're even fighting for resources, which is, again, wasteful and crazy. It's crazy. And not, yeah. not just in real big organizations either. No. This is in some small organizations Absolutely. too. That, that you think, you're like, well, just walk down the hall and just kind of get it together, guys, right? right. I mean, but it doesn't happen that way sometimes. Exactly. So, so the, the video series that we're doing is, is, is bringing and showing how to bring it all together, how yep. we can treat it all as one system and drive out the waste, and also to help sustain your improvements. That's great. Yeah. And we're, shoot, we're shooting more episodes of that series this week coming up. We yep. shot a lot in the can already and we can all be on the lookout for that coming up real real, real soon here down right. later yeah. on in the middle part of the year. Well, you know, Mike, the other thing that, that we had with you this last week was uh, one of our real popular articles uh, on a topic that I know you're very passionate about. Uh, the name of the article was, uh, was, I believe, was Ruthless Sorting. But now, it really wasn't Ruthless Sorting. There was another R involved and a couple of other R's okay. involved in that that maybe you can address for us. Yeah, so I, I, I've kind of gained a reputation as being a ruthless sorter, <laughs> so I thought, well, let me write about this and also clarify some things. I kind of liked the word ruthless in the beginning, but then I looked up the definition, yeah. and uh, it's without compassion or pity, and it's like, no, no, that's not me. That's not the way I really sort. Uh, I do have compassion, I do have pity, I have respect. So that's one of the other R words. So, so when I talk about sorting, we talk about the three R's of sorting. And I think the word that people really want to uh, tag me with instead of ruthless is, is relentless. Mm -hmm. And I am definitely relentless when I go out and I sort and I help organizations to sort. So it's relentless and it's resolute and it's respectful. Those are the three R's that are so important in a good sorting process and starting off the entire 5S process in a, in a good direction. And that, and that is, that is the first S in 5S, correct, is sorting? Is Absolutely, correct? sorting right. is, yes. So and that really, what you're saying here is that you need to first go into the organization and, and, and kind of roll up your sleeves a little bit, look at the process and begin to, to not, maybe not even physically sort sometimes, and maybe sometimes you need to physically sort, but, but sort out the different various elements that feed into those processes, right? And then begin to, to, to untangle what may be a little bit of a, Sometimes a complicated process. Is that correct? Yes, that and, and and I do get my, my hands dirty. I mean, okay. I'm I'm on, I'm underneath the, uh, the cabinets and, and reaching for stuff. And I, I mean, I, I I'm just everywhere, all over the place. Because I want to set an example. Mm -hmm. I said everything. We look at everything. We're not just looking at the big picture. We're looking at everything, and uh, and yes, our our areas, our our, our minds, <laughs> our, our processes are cluttered with stuff. And the problem, of course, is that it. It, it, it prevents us from doing a good quality job. So the whole idea of 5S and then starting off with a good first S, good sorting, um, is to really minimize operator error. I mean, we in the quality world, we always say, hey, we can't blame people. We need to blame the system. Well, a lot of it's because uh, we have bad systems, we have bad organizations, and, 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 and so 5S is, is, is there to, to help us clean out that clutter. And, and so that we can just focus in on the tools and the equipment and the paperwork or whatever it is that we only need and it's right there where we need it. Mm -hmm. First well, step though is a real good sort. Sort. Well, I yes. mean, we've all been there. I mean, I've seen it myself where you've, you've gone to shops where, where it's very well organized and everything's very visual and that's great. It, it, you almost breathe better when you're in a shop like that as opposed to a shop where stuff's all over the, the place and you can't find anything and there's no shadow board. I mean, there's nothing there that helps you 
mentally, I mean, some people call it feng shui almost. I mean, <laughs> mentally get in a space where you're ready to do productive work, right? I mean, so sorting really is the, the, the key to, to, to starting that, right? It, it absolutely is, yeah. yes. And, and you have to focus. And, you know, perhaps some, re, you know, one of the reasons I might be so relentless or, and, and teach others to be relentless, because it's all about teaching. I mean, you know, as soon as you, as soon as we go into a facility, um, the reason we get out of the classroom as soon as possible and onto the floor or the office area or whatever it might be is because it's hands-on teaching. Mm -hmm. And you need to che teach them the right way and you need to be relentless, constantly relentless, constantly asking questions, constantly driving people. And you might have 10, 20 people around uh, at the same time and you want to keep them all busy. So it's fast-paced, <laughs> it has to be fast-paced, active, constantly moving and relentless. Yeah, I hear but you. also respectful, respectful to the people. That's In right. other words, don't get into their personal space. Mm -hmm. Be very careful about that because this is something that they're going to be uncomfortable with in the beginning. Yeah. In the end, they thank you. Yeah, it's all a human interaction like anything else. Yes, in the it is. Of ours. Yeah. Great. All right, well, check that out. That article, again, is Ruthless Sorting. It's really not ruthless. It's really relentless, as Mike <laughs> indicated. Uh, you can check it out. Actually, uh, I don't know, Dirk, if we have that on the player page below there, but it's definitely on the Quality Digest homepage. You can check that out and, and read all about it. And, and definitely, again, look out for, for more from Mike. We're going to be shooting this week, and we're going to have a great video series for you, ready to, to help you train on this topic uh, very soon in the coming weeks and months.